Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to a new patch. I'm excited to do these story quests. There's a million of them. There's no event yet, so we're gonna have a back-to-back -back story quest. They're gonna be long. A lot of content this week. I hope you have a lot of free time. Anyway, today, Yaimiko came out, and Yaimiko's side quest, as well as Egg Side Quest Part 2. Today we're gonna do Egg Side Quest Part 2. You have to. It's an order thing. Oh. Lisa's bored of it. You may wonder why I'm Lisa here. It's mostly because I plan on pulling for Yai right now. We're going to do the same strategy as what I did with Shenha, where we are going to be pulling with our eyes closed and counting the amount of stars to know if it's a five star or not. Hopefully we'll get luck again. That'd be great. So before we pull, I'm going to go here. <laughs> we just got rid of this, the story quest thingy with Ito, but we're going to unlock Imperatrix and Bros chapter act two. Also called egg. Here we go. I didn't mispronounce it this time. There we go. Here it is. We're very close to where it starts. Let's pull. Oh, I have 69 pulls. It's perfect. All right, here we go. Closing my eyes. I don't know if... I don't remember how I did it. That was three stars. That was three. Three. Three again. Three. I thought you were supposed to get at least one four. Three. Oh. Five? Wait, what? That is here five? That was my first ten pool. What? <laughs> what? What are you? That was my first ten pool after pity on Shenha. I'm not even kidding. What? That's insanity. Thank you. Thank you, Genshin. Thank you, Mihoyo. I'm looking now. It doesn't matter anymore. There's, there's our four star. That was my first ten pool, by the way. Whatever would you do without me? <laughs> I, I don't know. That took no time whatsoever, by the way. I don't even know what she does right yet. Now. Woo. Emerge. Oh my god, this is cute right movement. Oh, this is so nice. You can walk around so fast. It has low cooldown too. Right here. Oh, I'm gonna travel as her all the time. No, when you hold, you dash away. Come on now. Hold. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I still have trouble believing this just happened. Let's get into the story. Oh, yo. Oh, wrong one. That's my lost arc muscle memory, pressing G instead of F now. Here we go. Two more Dungo Milk, because we're going to see Egg. From what I've seen in the live stream, we're going to have to calm her down. Hey, Catherine. I'm back once again. This time, not for Ita, but for Egg. Oh, look, my little thingy disappeared on the bridge. Add Astra Abyssosk. Add Astra Abyssosk to you. Recently, the Adventurer's Guild has received an unusual commission. That happens so often. And after careful consideration, we believe that... What do you believe? The would be the most suitable candidate, right? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Indeed, as ever. Yeah, we're getting used to this song. I will spare the pleasantries then. Okay, May great. I ask if you two are available to help? Always, you know this too. Skip the pleasantries, just tell me what's going on. Let's go. What kind of big ego hotshot are we becoming? It'll depend on the task and the compensation. What? No, of course, that's what we're here for. Well, let we're the me MC. go over it briefly. Thank you. Our client for this job is the Yashiro Commission. Again. Apparently, some other rift towns are attacking the roots of the sacred sakura nearby Mount Yogo in great numbers. Oh? Rift towns? On Narukami Island? On Narukami? Yes. Yes. We are not sure where exactly these creatures come from. Mm -hmm. But this time, they are attacking in alarming numbers with great aggression and a clear target. Understood. Sacred sakura is of tremendous importance to Inazuma. Uh-huh. I trust you are aware of this already? I'm hazy? Of course I understand. We've done that whole sakura cleansing thing, man. That took forever. Good. Then you can see that this case is very urgent indeed. Yes. Is the Tenryu Commission aware? Yes. Yes. And they are already taking action of their own. <laughs> However, given that the sacred sakura's root system is vast and complex, mm -hmm. and faced with the unpredictability and scale of the Rift Town's attacks, they are finding it difficult to defend against them. Seems straightforward. Their main priority is to protect the civilian population, so they are actively looking to cooperate with all other available forces to eliminate the monsters. Oh, let me go there then. I don't need to know anything else. So far, the combined efforts to combat the Rift Towns has failed to substantially ameliorate the situation. That's sad to hear. Time to make some whelps yelp. <laughs> Yo, these are, some, these are pretty nice, actually. Time to make some whelps yelp, or I'll send these pooches packing. I'll send these pooches packing sounds more powerful because of the pee. You have our deepest gratitude. She's not even reacting your to my Your confident meme. response puts me far more at ease. No, never mind. Confident response. I will okay. mark on your map the areas where Rift Town appearances have been recently reported. Okay. I hope you won't encounter too much trouble overcoming them. Me? Never. If they're Electro, I have Yai too now, so... you can say, Ad Astra Abathos. That. Wonderful. Imperatrix Ambrosa, Chapter, Act 2. Transient Dreams. The sacred Sakura is in danger again, huh? Who'd have thought? I mean, everyone. This is like the main thing of Inazuma. True. Trying to destroy it. 
Yeah. Time to teach him a lesson. We have to save Mask Lady's pride. Let's do it. I'm trying to get rid of all these things because you guys hate it when there's these things. Alright, there you go. Great. And this will never leave because I don't want to give Bennett C6. Mihoyo, make this a toggle. It's so easy. Come on. Bennett's been a problem for a year. Oh, using Yai. Ha. Wonderful. Yo, my little stick. I didn't even check my main attacks. Whoa. Yo, they are, they're just cute. Cute. Cool. I can't speak. Wheelie on their motorcycle. The hey. Stop it. Yai's yeah, first death. Are we going to witness it together? Right here. I'm schmoovin'. <laughs> <laughs> I won't let it happen, I won't let it happen. I don't know what these things do, by the way, so they're just kind of there. Let's go, yay, my max hit, 8 and 10. 15! New crit, new max. Oh no, reinforcements. Oh, Electrotech. Emerge, right here. <laughs> oh my, there is a lot of them. Yay! Ooh, she did a little twirl, they eliminated them. Totally not my Eula Burst. Oh, who's gonna save us? Torn to oblivion! <laughs> Nice. Nice egg. Torn to oblivion. Sh Shogun? Wait, no. Could also be egg. Speak, and I shall discover your true identity. It's definitely egg. Huh. It's you two. <laughs> it's egg. It has been a long time. Egg, see? We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryo Commission crisis. I know. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? Come on. If the puppet has evolved this far, I am scared for the future. You sure made short work of them. Oh, I could do the same with my burst. I'm just, like, not to remove any credit. What brings you out this time? I'm making early preparations for what is to come. What is to come? Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. Mm -hmm. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Right. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. That's great. Makes sense. You must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. Might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself. I was gonna say that. I don't think that's the point. Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. Mm -hmm. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. Right. I considered this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. Uh-huh. But the commissions and adventurers can deal with these monsters. It doesn't seem like a matter needing an Archon's attention. If the Shogun rather than I were to discover them, yes, perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Right. Why? Because she's just a puppet? Don't know. Precisely. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the Tri-Commission. Right. But Rift Hounds attacking the Sacred Sakura. It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I mean, she'd do this for Yai as well, right? Sacred Sakura is definitely a Yai thing. A disaster? What do you mean, oh yes. my? Yes, 500 years ago, a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. This is the Bao incident, isn't it? Everything was engulfed in a pitch black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Yeah. Countless lives were lost. And this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. Isn't that where that giant slash was made in the land? The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil. Yeah. And the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth and then call in even more powerful beasts. Ah, 500 years ago. Conria. That's true. 500 is Conria. I keep forgetting that. Hmm. So you've heard of it, too? Yeah. That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you, it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. No, not per se. Just surprised you're here. But an excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Sure. Guess you can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. Yes. From the traces they've left in the surrounding area... Oh, that's area, what it is. There should be many more monsters nearby. Okay. All of them must be eliminated. Let's go. Paimon feels so safe when we're in Ace Company. <laughs> Having someone uber powerful on your team kind of makes you feel invincible, doesn't it? Yeah, no, for sure. Also, because she's just so calm, you know? Oh, yeah. After we've dealt with the monsters, we should ask her to tell us more about Conria. Ooh, more Conria lore, finally. This is like the most interesting branch of lore, in my opinion. Similar to the color when the sacred Sakura takes damage. Takes damage. Let's follow it. It should be this way. It is sacred Sakura sap. 
drink it for eternal life. I don't know if I recorded it, but I was like, hey, what's this? Could someone do a wheelie on a motorcycle? But I don't know. Probably gonna cut this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it looks great with the KFC wind glider. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, by the way, but I, I claimed this. A streamer friend of mine had the wings as an offer, so they gave them to me. But I never bothered showing it because it's just so boring. Anyway, I have KFC wings, and they look pretty good on you. Yeah, lucky. The damage is not too serious. Okay. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. Great. This stuff that's flowing out, is it sap or something? And how come it's glowing? Telling you, definitely sap. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. What's this? What the? What? How terrible. What? I, I wouldn't say either of these. These don't make any sense to me. Could they be dead people? I mean, they're ghosts. It wouldn't be the first time we'd seen ghosts on our journey. For sure. Why would they appear here? Memories of the sacred Sakura. Let's search the area. Perhaps we will find out. You don't know, Egg? I feel like uh, you know. Uh, Hello, Kitamura. Can you talk to us, or are you, uh, are you a video? I can't go on like this. You're a video. Not when the other troops are counting on me. They had the same outfit 500 years ago. What happened here? Could you tell us? Who are you? Wait. What are you doing here? You're not a video. We can talk to you. Hi. Run quick while you still can. The monsters will be back. Once you're in their sights, I'm telling you there's no escaping them. Okay. We will defend Inazuma till our dying breath. What exactly happened? You... you don't know? This is Conria flashback. Inazuma is engulfed in darkness. Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere. <laughs> They're merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path. Oh no. Every last trace of humanity's existence, I tell you, they'll devour it all. Well, thankfully, that didn't happen. It almost happened, but it didn't. But, look, none of that seems to be going on around here. Not right now, but they'll be back. Look, get out of here. Now, there's no time left. The Almighty Shogun is gone. So is Kitsune Saigu. Kitsune Saigu. There is no one left to rely on Wait, but ourselves. Wait, the Almighty Shogun is gone? I don't know how long we can hold out for, but if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left at all. Don't worry, I'm right here. <laughs> it's... the Shogun? <laughs> What's go what is going on? You're back. Please, we beg you. You have to help us. You have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness, or the whole of Inazuma will be reduced to a hunting ground for the beasts. Calm down. The war you speak of is over. Well... Over? But what do you mean? Shogun? <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're trying to confuse us. And a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma at peace, as you will no doubt remember. Okay. There are no monsters. Well, Nor there are. is there anything else here that could threaten your life. What? <laughs> what? B but how? Just moments ago, they were everywhere. I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm down. What? Everything's fine now. Huh. How are we? This We're just going to make this guy go insane. I think I understand. Almighty Shogun, you saved Inazuma. Uh, uh, what? M maybe? <sighs> yes, we were right to place our trust in the Almighty Shogun. As long as the Shogun is with us, Inazuma will last for an eternity. Thank you, Your Excellency. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. What's wrong? Him. Is he disappearing? He, his mind is at ease or some. Oof. He's gone. He is. If I am not mistaken, what we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. The sacred Sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. Nice. After the Rift Hounds attacked, some of this filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. Oh, wait, we've heard something about this but before. When purified, it presents in the form of a memory. Right. That's what we... No, that was this whole, the whole cleansing thing, actually. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines exactly shortly this. afterwards. In other words, it cannot exist for too long. The same thing happened to Dusky Ming. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now was precisely the disaster that happened in Inazuma 500 years ago. Ooh, this, this, both these questions kind of sting. I'm going to confront her about it. The Shogun was absent. Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Mm -hmm. Some were local in origin, while others... Others came from the now fallen kingdom of Conria. Dude, Conria lore, I want to know. I, I, I hope at one point we get to travel back in time and Conria, or get Conria cutscenes. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late. 
Otherwise, it would spread to all of Tevat. Good call. But maybe that's why they lost in Conria, because Egg left for Inazuma? But my friend, Kitsune Saiku, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. Uh huh. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. That didn't work. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, mm -hmm. we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. Right. Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Yeah, it must be all the same phenomenon. Indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. Damn. I never had the chance to see her one last time, but I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Of course. Hey. Egg? Is this the loss that Yaimiko mentioned? Probably. Yes. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. Yeah. All my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time, powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. And that's where eternity became a thing, maybe. <sighs> Egg. But... After my clash with human ambition, mm -hmm. I thought long and hard. Great. Now I realize I cannot fixate on the past forever. So you're no longer stuck on the past. When I traveled around Inazuma with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. A glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. That's great. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. It's true. Just think of that soldier. Despite all the losses he had experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forward. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future. Mm -hmm. But perhaps the future they were hoping for is not the eternity that I once strove for. Yeah, absolutely. As Inazuma's god, it is high time I honored their wishes. Warriors nice. of the past who spilled your blood on this land. Your noble souls now rest in this earth. Great. I will never forget you and all that you did for Inazuma. He's taking all this pretty hard. Why are you surprised? <laughs> Come on, let's keep investigating the damage to the sacred Sakura. Yeah, sure. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right I'm Egg, me, me Egg, me Egg, me gaming. Well met. Well met, forehead. Talk to the person who appeared, who huh? appeared. Something seems wrong with A. Yeah, it looks like a headache. Are you feeling okay? Why would you ask that? Well, you were holding your head, by the way. Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one go! No? <laughs> no? <laughs> you are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Right, but why were you holding your head? Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. Mm hmm I must be prepared for anything. Yeah. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. Understandable. Ah, makes sense. Spoken like a seasoned shogun. Like a seasoned... I was gonna make a joke about seasoning again, food seasoning, but I did that last video. I can't do that again. Hey, the same light is leaking out again. Yes, another story, another ghost. Same situation as before? No, oh, hello. It is me. Uruyama? Is that you? Egg, my child. Oh, I can't believe I'm here. Okay, sorry. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. Yeah, we lost that. I came back. <laughs> this guy's talking about 500 years ago, too. Thanks, Paimon. We didn't figure. Allow me to introduce Furuyama. He is a tea master and a member of my retinue. Okay. Though blind, Furuyama is unparalleled in his ability to appraise tea. He brews some of the very <laughs> finest tea in all of Inazuma. My man thinks it's war, and Egg's just here like, yeah, this my homie, he brews tea. And he's like, um, Egg, the world is ending, by the way. I do not feel like listening to you introducing me as a blind tea master right now. Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. <laughs> I have simply had the good fortune to be in Your Excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. Wow, so honorable. It sounds like the almighty Shogun has brought a guest. 
No, I don't speak. I'm quiet. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. <laughs> but please, sit and rest. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. After all, it's quite a mess out there. Uh-huh. What should we do? Let's go along with what he says. I think I don't want to hurt him. I think this guy isn't the one that's going to tell us about the past. Let's just go along. Oh, um, yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> There's monsters everywhere out there. It's pitch black and loads of people have been injured. Okay, maybe that's not what we should have said. I see. So, they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So, I decided to stay. Respectable. And now the almighty Shogun is here, I have <laughs> even less reason to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this was something that even the almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve. Where could I possibly True. run to then? How come you're not panicking? He just explained. People flee out of a desire to live on. Yeah. And the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. I get what he's saying. Me? I have no such thoughts. And I have no regrets. That's good. He's done everything. He's completed his bucket list, his checklist. The Almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. That's cool. Just listening to her stories. Ah, I've been blind for many years, but her vivid descriptions took me on a splendid journey to all the most beautiful places in Inazuma. That's awesome. Over time, I've come to understand her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart. <laughs> a true dreamer. That's cute. One thing she always says is, good things don't last forever. Uh-huh. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. Huh. And so, people must make the most of the life they have. Seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts. Right. And have no regrets in the end. That has nothing to do with eternity. <sighs> Doesn't sound like egg at all. Doesn't fit the definition of eternity, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, that's the point. So here it comes. I asked it a second ago and we have the answer now. The mindset of eternity came after the disaster that happened 500 years ago. So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life. Amazing mindset. And have no reason not to be satisfied. That's great. I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the almighty Shogun rebuilds it anew. See, that's something, it's funny that he mentions it because I was gonna say, yeah, you're fine with dying because you've done everything you wanted to do, you know, and you have no regrets. But also, I, w I just want to see what happens. I want to see what the world is like in a million years, you know what I mean? I just, it, I'm intrigued. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark now. <laughs> but to me, it went dark a long time ago. Yeah. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survived until then, I'd probably be a hopelessly befuddled old so-and-so by then. <laughs> so, never mind, eh? Ah, <sighs> sigh. Oh. Goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. You said there was no tea. The almighty Shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. <laughs> A truly egregious loss of decorum. <laughs> yeah, same. I was going to use those words too. One moment. I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I don't know. I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. If they smashed it to smithereens, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Really? But it's always been right by my side. Goodness gracious, what a fool I'm making of myself. Well, we know where to find a tea set. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. <laughs> that would be most discourteous indeed. So what? Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Yeah. Almighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. Your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. No worries, man. This place is complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. Yeah. What? Well, okay. I never thought I'd see the day that I need <laughs> the almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. Hey, it's time for us to do something for you, man. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. Good fortune. <laughs> a well-deserved rest. Kamisato <laughs> Estate? Sure. I'm Why also feeling very... No! She was talking! It's the Traveler and the Almighty Shogun! Whoa, well, they, they turned on the lights for her. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? Give us tea set. I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. 
<laughs> I'll fetch that for you right away. <laughs> so random. Every time we're with an Archon, they want the most random shit. Like, we are the worst influence. Uh, police step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. My lord. Ah, and the tea set. I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Hey, no stress, Hirano. Calm down. Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Oh, Kamisato. Actually, there he is. I'd prefer Ayato. to spend this time chatting with the traveler. Nice. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. Cute! No, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. <laughs> I'll deal with it right away. So over-exaggerated. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. Uh-huh. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. You've been answering most of them as we've been going, to be honest. Oh yeah, this is a good question. Was it really you that the tea master used to serve? Right. I don't want to ask was it that Ball? too. The, other the Almighty half. Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. Mm -hmm. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. Okay. So, in the vast majority of cases, the one he there made tea is. for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Makoto. Raiden Makoko Seed. Yo, so that is, that's who we call Baal, right? He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. <laughs> the philosophy of Smart life man. that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. Well then, she died as she lived. Let's hope she has no regrets. You and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Polar opposites. Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. I wonder how she looks. Do we know? In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. Cute. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. Dreams. Or, in other words, ambitions. They are similar, but not identical. Yeah, I get that. When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. Mm -hmm. This somewhat shook me. Shook? Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Happens. Better to realize late than never. There sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary. Of course. More abstract than an ambition. Ambition is something you truly want to achieve, whereas a dream is something you're more hoping for. An ambition is a yearning for something material, or a concrete outcome. <laughs> it is finite in nature, and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. She words it nicely, I, but it comes down to the same thing. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in Hope. the first place. It is something innate, yeah, rooted in instinct. In other words, it is something eternal. Whoa, so you're saying it comes down to eternity. To put it simply, Makoto wasn't concerned about outcomes. Shocking. I didn't understand at the time. How can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. It seems more in line with how humans view the world. Yes, it does. I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive, arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusions she did. But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegantly simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Yeah. Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity. Sure. But now, I no longer cling to what was lost. Good. I suppose that means our differences have been reconciled. Great. Almighty Shogun, I found a tea set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. Oh. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You are too kind. A humble servant such as I does not deserve the gratitude of the Almighty Shogun. <laughs> I hate this bootlicking. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. I hate, I, I know I look really happy right now, but I really don't like the game. It's not very futuristic, you know, but then we use language from 2022. It is not, it does not fit for me. It does not click. Sorry, died from cringe. I'm back. Let us return. <laughs> we ought not keep Furuyama waiting too long. <laughs> she just ignores it. I kept him waiting for a long time. Right now, emerge. <laughs> hey, I'm back, Ramps. You think he's still here? No. 
He's gone. My thing is there, though. Where'd he go? Maybe he has to come back from the sap. He wouldn't have gone looking for a tea set himself, would he? <laughs> wouldn't put it past him. Or perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long. I think that. As was the case with the memory we saw earlier. Yeah, but we appeased him, so that's why he left, you know? Maybe we have to appease this guy. Or he went for a walk, who knows? So we won't get to drink his tea? We wouldn't have been able to drink it in the first place. We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. Stop. <laughs> Stop. The information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. Uh -huh. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. True. <laughs> Cheer up, Paimons. Make our own tea. Well, this chance won't come often, and we do have a tea set. Yes. Perhaps I should try my yes. hand at making us a pot of tea. Yes. I've watched Furuyama brew tea on many occasions. Mm -hmm. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. Let's go then. Egg brews a piping hot pot of tea with a tea set. The tea is ready. Oh, it is a cute Please set. Please give it a try. Thank you. Well, it looks a bit hot. I'm gonna leave it there for a while because I always burn my hands. I have a funny story about me burning my hands as a kid when my dad told me to not touch the tea, but I was like, ha, you're not my dad. He was my dad. I burned my hands. <laughs> anyway, more of that in my real life podcast someday, maybe. So many thoughts were racing through my head as I was brewing it. Uh-huh. I... I'm not sure how to explain it. You don't need to. I understand. You're right. But the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. I know. I've been reminded of many people, too. Of course. Kitsune Saigu, Makoto, and all the other friends who I watched pass even further back. I'm here now, Egg. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably lighthearted. Ooh. But now... Okay. I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. Feel free. I told you, I'm here. The events of 500 years ago not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saigu, Mm -hmm. They also took Makoto away from me, for good. Uh, I think we knew this already, no? She died in that disaster too? Didn't we know this already? Yes, she went to Konria alone. Oh my god. Without telling me. Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Oh. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them in her stead. Really? But this time, the circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. What was the point of her going, then? Or perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realized what was happening... Makoto had already... Yes, it was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. Not cool. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point, so all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. Interesting. It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. I don't either right now, I'll be honest. Why did she go to Conria first? Don't know. And not I. Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? I, I don't know anything about the situation, so I have no clue. Usually I have a good guess, but right now I have no idea. It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. There it is. We figured as much. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed oh. completely and brought it back to Inazuma. What? That's quite a story. What can you do with that now? When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount uh Yogo. The tree that you know as the sacred Sakura. Appeared? That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well. That it had existed since time immemorial. Oh. They were so matter-of-fact about it. Huh. And couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. I'm getting confused. No one questioned it. And yet, its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. Right. It seemed as if... I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. Huh. In the end, I simply had to accept that it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's consciousness. Right. Makoto is the tree? What? With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, mm -hmm. I was finally able to overcome the monsters and quell the disaster in Inazuma. Great. This is all really hard to understand. <laughs> Kind of beyond Paimon's level. I'm doing my best. It's not the easiest to understand. Simply put, Makoto's power somehow made that tree appear. Yeah, okay, we come on, we figured that. Yes, she had such a great love for this land and for its people. In this respect, 
I still do not compare to her. I wish we got to know her. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. Mm -hmm. Facing the fact that she is gone is unbearably painful. Understandable. But even the tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. <laughs> what a metaphor. Glad you can make some metaphors still despite the situation, Egg. And it's time I came to terms with it all. I think that's true. It seems like you've done a lot of thinking about this already. I know the pain of separation too. We do, but it's not about us. Oh, um, while we're on the topic, oh. since you experienced that battle in person... This is so not the moment to ask, but it was maybe... Have you seen my brother before? Brother? Hmm. I had heard that you were looking for your family. Yeah. You mean to say that he was somehow involved in the Camria disaster? Look, I don't know. I was dropped on a beach and I found this floating thing. That's what happened. Based on what we've learned so far, it seems so, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the whole thing. Uh-oh. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. So maybe Egg could have saved it if she was there instead. Regret. And also, my mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Inazuma and the fate of those closest to me. I understand. So, I'm afraid I can't help you. That's okay. Oh, that's a shame. But it can't be helped, I guess. What? How are we surprised, even? Both of you have experienced great tragedy. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the Tea Master's memory. Yes. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. We should go. Let's keep following the traces. Observe Teacup. Based on my investigation so far, I believe this next pack of monsters should be the last. Oh, great, the last pack of monsters. Teacup has been left for Furuyama. That is cute. How much did he actually perceive? And how much did he let on? I think he knew everything. I think he knew everything, you guys. Where am I going? Oh, this way. Yeah, I see. Whoa! I see you guys. No need to 360 me seven times. Okay, understood. Stop locking onto things. I don't know what dev thought that was a fun mechanic. It's not. Leave me alone. Yeah, I see them, guys. No need to lock onto this. I see the evil boys. Oh, what? They disappeared. Oh, cutscene. Once again. Never mind. Hey, hey. Oh. Are you sure you're all right? You're scaring us. You're scaring us a little bit. <sighs> what? I'm are frozen. You all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Egg, you're dying. I hate this. Stop fighting as Egg, please. Ah, no! Egg is freezing in time. Eternity is over. Did I win? No, I didn't win. Hey, maybe you should leave this one to us. You don't look too good. Don't force it. I. Egg, stop. My apologies. Yeah. It. Just take a breather and get your strength back. Please. We'll deal with the monsters. Uh oh. Oh, don't tell me it's her sister that's gonna that's pop up at some point. Again. That's gonna kill her. Time for another trip down memory lane. Who have we got this time? Samurai. Where am I? Hi, Fujiki. Who are you? Uh, Almighty Shogun, you're here too. <laughs> She's not looking too well, though. Are you injured, Your Excellency? She is, a little bit. <sighs> I'm quite all right. There you go with the head again. Just feeling a little stiff. We, the Shogun at Samurai, will defend the Shogun until the very end. Nice, boys. Come on, men. They're coming back for more. They're pretty badass when they don't have a helm on. Don't. It's too dangerous. Danger is our duty, man. <laughs> if we were the kinds to shy away from danger, <laughs> we never would have taken up arms to begin with. They're actually badass. No need to worry, almighty Shogun. When the situation looks bleak, we will draw on the power granted to us by the gods. Nice. Is that a vision? Yeah, it is. It certainly is. I know the gods are omnipotent, and their willingness to grant their power to humans means they have high expectations for us. That's cool. If the almighty Shogun is in trouble, now of all time is the moment for us to honor that. That's so cool. So that's how samurai of that era understood visions, huh? That is amazing. Full of hope. Nobody knew where your excellency had gone, and we were starting to despair. But now we've found you. You're right here with us. Always. Just the sight of you appearing before us once more has reignited the hope in our hearts. <laughs> this is deep as well. This hope is the light that will guide us out from the darkness. Nice. Everyone on me! I'll help too. <laughs> huh? Don't you worry. Affirmative, but watch your backs. Nice, dude. Are we gonna fight alongside them? That'd be cool if they'd actually Protect fight. The they are fighting. 
I'm always oh, watching. what the? F Whoa! Whoa! I've never seen that before. That was cool too. I'm dying. Come on, boys! Look at his jump! Holy shit! Let's do a midair slash. All right, she's fine. Dude, the ghosts are like physical though. They can beat up seems like creatures. Seems are finally over. Thanks, boys. <laughs> I've never fought so fiercely before. <laughs> Thank you all. Are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. Yeah, we should take her home. I'm fine. I feel much better already. Hey, Egg, stop lying to me. You fought phenomenally. It was truly awe-inspiring. Thank you, Fujiki. I'm humbled and honored to have fought along your side. The monsters will definitely come back. And when they do, it'll be more than a few rift hounds this time. Yeah. Quickly, escort Her Excellency back to Inazuma City and regroup with the General's forces as soon as possible. Deal. When everyone sees the Almighty Shogun safely returning, their spirits will be lifted. It's true. Well, what are you guys gonna do? Mm -hmm. We will stay here and guard against the monster's advance. Cannot afford to let them get any further. Understandable. We are brothers in arms. As long as we stick together, we can face any number of monsters that come our way. Nice. Uh... Gulp. <laughs> we have no business disrupting the reality they are experiencing. See, and that's what I meant with the older man as well. Great. Thanks. We appreciate it. Just leave it to us. Fighting is what we do best. Let's go. But the almighty Shogun is the only one of us with the power to change the present state of affairs. She needs to only rest her first, Excellency though. can turn back the tide of despair and lead us onward into the future. She succeeded in doing it, though. Because we're 500 years later. No matter what kind of threat faces Inazuma, we will always place our faith in the Almighty Shogun. Nice. Oh, thank you all very much. <laughs> I promise you that I will create a bright future for Inazuma. More reality facing all the time. Inazuma's gonna be great. I should not have left it this late to make this promise. I was gonna say. But from this moment forth, know that I shall be true to my word. Better late than never, Egg. It took an eternity, but it was worth it. Don't worry, Your Excellency. We will never doubt your word as long as we live. <laughs> With you leading us, we will claim back everything that Hinozuma has lost. Glory to the Shogun. Glory to the Shogun. As they go into his sauna. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Shogun. To the Shogun. Oh, wow. Nice transition, guys. Very clean. They're gone. They are. Was that a promise to them? Or a promise to yourself? It was both. That was a stupid question. But in dwelling on the tragedy, I overlooked their splendor. Yeah. The grief blinded me to how brightly they shone in their final moments. That's a nice way to see it. The result being that in the centuries since their sacrifice, I have dishonored their will. Yeah. You could take the view that whatever I say to them is meaningless because they are but disembodied memories held in the ley lines. No, no, their will still lives on. But even so, they are due a resolution. Agreed. I owe it to them and to all the people who have placed their faith in me to date. Agreed. Well, Hyman thinks that even if it's a few hundred years later, you're doing right by them now, and that's what counts. Well, it's not what counts, but it is good. Thank you for your comforting words, but this is my basic duty as Inazuma's Archon, uh -huh. and I have neglected it for far too long. I can only agree. I used to think just like that samurai, that I was first and foremost a warrior, and my only duty was to face whatever challenge came my way. But what Inazuma needs more than a warrior is someone like Makoto. Even though I am utterly unlike Makoto, and can never become the person she was. You can was. learn from what she's done. I still need to do the things that she would have done. Humans are worthy of your trust. Wow, we're, we're pumping up humans out here. We're not even human, are we? We're some kind of god from a different planet. Yes, they are. They are strong and resilient and have much to be proud of. Are Archons not human, though? Why do Archons rule over humans? Are gods not humans? I have no idea what's going on. As the Raiden In my Shogun brain. they revere, I should not be the one to hold them back. Yeah. Well said. Sounds to Paimon like you figured things out. Took you two story quests, but you did it. Change will come to Inazuma, and with it, new possibilities. Yeah. This will take time, but eventually, the future will bring healing to the scars of the past. Yeah, I mean, of course, scars can't heal, but yeah. No matter how long it takes, I am committed to bringing this to fruition. Good. This is my promise. I'll keep you to it. Now that we've dealt with the Rift Hounds, this matter is halfway resolved. Mm-hmm. It does not appear that the threat will escalate for the time being. Great. I will leave the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions to handle the follow-up work, uh -huh. such as investigating the origins of this incident 
and tending to the root system. Tending the root system. Alrighty then, let's move on. Let's move on. I don't know what's happening in the rest of this quest. I need to upload a video. He looks calm on the outside, but Paimon bets her emotions must be all over the place right now, huh? Who would have thought, Paimon? You say the least obvious things. It's crazy. She seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. Well, she didn't, but her thought process did. Huh? Huh? What's wrong, eh? Egg? Uh, uh, egg? What's going on? Are you feeling unwell again? This is weird. This is weird, Egg. Uh, my body. I can't move it. That's happened uh, twice during the fighting, too. Uh, it looks like the situation mm, is more serious than I thought. Maybe you put the wrong herbs in the tea. Maybe you put some paralyzing stuff, you know? We should get you back to the city. Uh, no need. She is calling me. Huh? The time has come. Makoto? Can you help me walk? Of course. I need to go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Please let us actually walk super slow this distance. Why? What's in there? Makoto's will. The roots. I don't know. A battleground. Oh. One where I shall sever ties with the past and what? take the first steps into the future. Getting rid of the puppet, maybe? What? Mile and there we go. We're finally here. The entrance oh. should be nearby. Is this what a new weekly boss place is gonna be? Oh, look at that. That's pretty. This is Whoa. really cool. Where'd the Tory Gate come from? Are you okay, Egg? Uh, it's. Oh worse my god, again. what is what is doing this to her then? But it's fine. I'm happy. I'm about to put an end to it all. I'm happy, she says. This is a place I once sealed off with my own hands. There it is. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. Yeah. It is weird that she kept Makoto's consciousness alive all this time because she thought eternity was the way when Makoto always said there starts and ends to things. Uh, it looks like... She will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Huh. What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? Well, I, I guess so. She's going in. Let's go then. <sighs> Follow me. Gladly. This is super intriguing. <laughs> Paimon is dead. We lived. We're not through yet. Paimon dead though. Loading screen, oh my god, what's happening? Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. No. Paimon's dizzy. Where did we get sucked into this time? She said it. It's kind of the same thing as what we'd say Plane of Euthymia was. This place. See, there it is. It does look a lot like the Plane of Euthymia. Look, look over there. Yeah, it's gonna be Makoto. It's another A. <laughs> did they look the exact same? There's no way. We meet again, traveler. So it is the puppet. The puppet is in the conscience? Makoto is in the puppet? That'd be so far-fetched. This body is an assistant to the one within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. You are confusing me. I am third wheeling this time, not fourth. Or maybe we have to go through the puppet to change the rules? Should the one within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Uh-huh. Wait, Paimon knows that voice? The puppet? Yes, it is. Come on. You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. <laughs> what? You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct, don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas, or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? This is uh, this is rough, because she, she, like, quote-unquote coded the puppet to to always protect eternity with your old ideas this is crazy this i'd hate this i'm here to show you my answer <laughs> by ending you we are both warriors and the dialogue we must now oh have my god shall be conducted by the blade alone okay wait wait, wait. the atmosphere in here just took a turn for the worst i feel like it's still pretty chill uh, are you uh are you all right now <laughs> I'm not ready to boss fight with my current team that has two down characters. The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. Her body? As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. Ah. She cannot affect me in this way. Interesting. 
Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. Interesting. I think you've mentioned this before. This is our system to safeguard against modifications to eternity. Yeah. Uh, Hyman gets that everyone has their internal battles and stuff, but not like this. Okay, Paimon. It's a bit extreme. No one cares, honestly. A showdown with the Shogun? I never thought we'd see that day. I definitely thought it'd be easier to disable the Shogun. The rules I set for the Shogun are the Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. Exactly. The very foundation stone of eternity. Uh-huh. It shall not be easily swayed. Plus, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, there's nothing more stubborn than the puppet right now, as it's been coded to do anything to protect eternity. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Uh-huh. Isn't there any other way? Unplug her. Egg isn't someone who leaves herself an escape route. But they both just want the best for Inazuma. My form is a symbol of supreme majesty in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. With the mindset that eternity needs to be preserved in the way that she perceived back then. The pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Yeah. Determination, courage, love, hatred. All of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. This is a bit much. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Right. Those were my thoughts that's when not even I created true either. you. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. Cool. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, <laughs> the guardian of eternity. Oh, goes to show. Eternity is not forever. And I it doesn't am exist. she who promised a dream to her subjects. <laughs> right and A. She's way cooler. Okay, we're fighting. In the end, even the proud we're fighting. Shine as brightly as it once did. Oh, it's a 1v1 though, so it's not my team. <laughs> okay, stop with these bears. Genshin, honestly, you need to stop with these bears. Senora has them, Egg has them. Oh, run! I'm out of stamina. I have to attack. Oh, well, I dodged it instead. I feel like this fight, we're gonna need some... I hate that it's so wide now. It's like, actually, white egg. Where's the chop suey? I don't know where it is anymore. They should let us favorite food. Cheap and tasty chop suey. Okay, cheap and tasty chop suey is eternal, though. They should make us favorite things so it goes here. That'd be nice. Don't dodge. She dodged. She dodges all my slashes intentionally, probably because the fight would be over in no time. Anyways, she's gonna transform now. Like we've seen. Okay, nice poem, bro. Stop healing. You're eating chop suey too, unfair. Yeah. She is eternal. She actually cannot get hit by my burst, I'm confident. Can we get through this period? I refuse to heal. I'm not chugging any food this fight. Oh, wow, I hit it. Heal again if you dare. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I hit for no reason. There shall never be another. Never. For the rest of time. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, I might have to eat some food. <laughs> weak, <laughs> pathetic, weak, weak, pathetic, weak, go. pathetic. Well, I'm not eating food, so who's weak after all? You're healing. I'm dodging everything. I'm sh moving. Weak, pathetic, weak, pathetic, weak. Got him. No food. Let's go. I'm the champ. Have you finally defeated her? No, she's going beast mode now. We've seen it. Can I just say, if Egg was a sword user, look at how badass she'd look. I'm tired of pole arms. Oh, here we go. Beast it mode. Your martial prowess has not dulled. Can you defeat Mecha Egg, though? <laughs> but how long can your will remain strong? Forever. For eternity. How the heck? What? Surely, it isn't invincible. In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. <laughs> she was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Ah, that's what you thought, bro. My will? I bet I have more will than this thing. My will was forged in ambition. Some would say my will <laughs> was Smith. <laughs> Get it forged at a Smith. Will Smith. That's a cool. Will Smith is a cool ass name when you think about it. Shout out to Will Smith. <laughs> uh, I'm crazy. Does that mean this is gonna be a never-ending battle? An eternal battle, one might say. Maybe. 
But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking, one that will be resistant to erosion. Oh, but then you're still your puppet. Let's talk it out, man. We still want eternity, but in a different way. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change, and Inazuma can never move forward. Mm -hmm. This is my duty. <laughs> no matter how long this battle may last, months, years, centuries, uh -huh. and no matter how many times we must I fight, I will defeat her. I was actually gonna say this. We've spoken to those things that were like, oh, you haven't been here in forever. It is time going 700 times faster here. And are we gonna come back? And everyone's like, oh, young man, who are you? And then it's like, it's like Kayan, 79 years old. 500 years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices. Uh -huh. Tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree so that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. Uh huh. It is about time that I learn to trust them. Cool. But can you bear to leave humanity to go alone? Everyone looks at a shogun for hope. This is true. I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. True. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. Yeah. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. <laughs> this is my oath. <laughs> That's badass. Please, be my witness. I'd happily be the witness. During my absence, I place everything oh. in Miko's hands. No way, there's no way this isn't gonna end and you have to do Miko's quest. No way. Don't do this to me. But this means that... Pass on my words. No! Egg, don't throw us out. Don't do this. No! I I hate you! Is this is the end? This is the end. Is it Looks the end? Like we got kicked out. This is the end. Oh, what do we do? Bro. Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? Bro, Egg will win. She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still uh, you know, I don't really care. I feel like this is for the best. Egg has no physical body anymore and has to rely on the Shogun. But this cannot be the only way. We'll have right? to go and talk to Miko. Although, A can be pretty stubborn at times and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. I told you about stubborn. But what if she gets too obsessed with winning and she forgets why she's there in the first place? Whatever. It could happen. No. And then she Impossible. Might never leave again. We're not about to leave her just yet. Our work here isn't done. Yeah. It's not. We should help her out like we did last time. The quicker she gets through this, the better. Yeah. And <laughs> she just comes out right now. Okay, I won. <laughs> can cut down how long she needs to spend in there or you know help her win the fight um maybe we uh, try and ruin eternity and then the puppet will have to like be distracted i don't know well whatever we can't let anything bad happen to a while she's in there oh but we also can't get in there anymore <laughs> okay well first things first gotta find a way back in mm -hmm. come on brain juice don't feel time on now always um, okay here it maybe is if we both ran into it at the same time yeah I agree with her. Let's try that. We don't need to talk to Yai. Oh, you're right. Paimon nearly forgot about her. How could you? She literally said we have a message to deliver to her from Egg. Paimon, more like pain. Who knows if she really understands these consciousness realm plane thingies more than we do? Oh, she definitely but there's does. There's no one else we can turn to. Uh, all right, up the mountain we go. This is it, by the way. This is the end of the quest. I yeah, bet you. you oh, we got TP'd up here. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's a oh come on! I didn't get to walk in front of her. Someone's not in the best of moods. Let me guess. <laughs> You're all tangled up in another situation and yeah. need me to unravel it for you. Well, it involves eggs, so you want to unravel it too. I hope you realize how lucky you are. Mm -hmm. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. Stop complaining so much. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for you, your people, Inazuma, and Egg. That was a figure of speech. Do you understand? <laughs> Nitpicking my turns of phrase. The sheer audacity. The sheer audacity. <laughs> Paimon, get to the point. She's not smiling right now, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something really big's happened. It's egg. 
can tell Yamiko about everything that has oh, happened. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, mm -hmm. while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Well, what battle has an end date, Miko? Please. This battle will last for about two weeks, then we take a break, yes? Okay, wonderful. Impossibly stubborn. Jump straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable. Well, to be fair... Presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. She couldn't do anything else. Her body was becoming frozen. This was the only option. I don't think it was the most extreme course of action. There was no other option. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Yeah. Why well, start fretting about it now? This was more serious than anything up till now. Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. Okay, we get it. So this you is the seem same to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Yeah. Who gave you that idea? You gave me that. Look, you just changed the entire mood by changing the light. You gave me that idea. You always say this. Plus, you're supposed to rule this place as long as Egg isn't here, so... <sighs> is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! She wants us to start the second quest, because this is the end. Uh-huh. You're learning, little one. <laughs> but really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. What a shame. Okay, bye. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura, and from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Uh-huh. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Sure. Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. Okay. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there. So you tell me, what was it like? I mean, there were no portals. It wasn't sand, but it was like blue instead. Didn't see much else. Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. Okay. First things first. Follow me to the entrance. Oh, so it's not over. We are still gaming. Back to the entrance we go. Now then, I always have my ways. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. Sure. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. Great. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial we location figured. of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. We knew. You said that twice. No. It's abstract, but has a location. You don't know where it <laughs> is, but you can still send it And now it we heard it three there. times. What? What? Yes. No need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Mm hmm Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Wow, thanks. That helps. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. Do that. I bet we're going to see our brother if you do that. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. Interesting. What? <laughs> All right, well, I might stay here then. <laughs> you two can go in. <laughs> in your dreams. Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? Yeah, that's it. That's all. Who cares? <laughs> Come on, you're gonna backstab us at the end of the game. We all know it, so don't worry about it. It's, you can have a, your nice revenge eventually. Oh, well, if you're quite sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your way. Let's go. <laughs> hum. Well, that was easy. Hmm, I say. That was so easy. All you did was lift your hand. What is it? Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. Hmm. My suspicions have been confirmed. Oh, yeah, it really reflects in the way you're talking to us now. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. I wish to see my brother again. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant oh. waves of abstract space. That's nothing, then. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. I'm weak, okay. Well then, the door is open. Hop on Hop in. Hop on in. I'm I'll going. stay outside Nether portal. and provide what stability I can. That's so kind. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. Thank you, I still have the charm. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. I know. Thank you. For my sake, and for Inazuma's, please, bring her back. I'll do my best. This is cool. Nico, you better know what you're doing. We're about to get sucked in. We will not fail. That's enough chatter. Get to work. I agree. I didn't change my party again. I'm weak. Let's go. I'm so weak. Oh, cutscene. For real. Think of your brother. 
Don't get sucked in by space-time. Use your will! What is Paimon thinking of that? Whoa. Whoa! I don't like that. Think! Think Remember of something you care about. Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. There you have it. Think of your brother. Only wow. Only if you are strong enough I can saw I Mona. deliver I you to the right destination. Oh, it's, never mind. It's egg. I changed my mind. I thought it was Mona. It's many eggs. What's up? Egg's just dead. I've made it. They're just standing. They're still talking. They haven't fought yet. <laughs> Hello. They haven't started yet. They were sipping tea. No, 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 no. I need to change parties. Huh? Hey, I'm back. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Her face is pretty great. Hey. Uh... <laughs> How can this be? Look, um, you can't do this by yourself. You have returned, but how were you able to get back in? <laughs> and... How come you have not changed at all in all these years? <laughs> all these years? Egg, it's been like 15 minutes. This is a duel to remember. <laughs> it is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. I don't care. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Well then admit that it's fine. Eternity can go on. No need to fight. Over countless battles, not once have you lost. And never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Mm -hmm. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. Mm -hmm. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. Okay, now it's a bootlicking competition. Great. It is. It is It is just a fight of will. They've just been talking trash back and forth. Because look, none of them are injured. You bring honor to the title of... Guardian of Eternity. <laughs> Why are they complimenting now, each other now? Now, these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. <laughs> I'm standing there so awkwardly. Like, what am I... I look so out of place. I'm just standing. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. 500 years ago? Final duel? <laughs> so they still hadn't so fought, see? finally so you... willing to... Stand back, traveler. Uh-oh. Are you gonna put an end to all this? That's the plan. I'm going to be the start of something new. That is so cool. Here we go. Are we fighting? Or are we cutscening? We're fighting again. Oh, there we go. Wow. There was not even a crazy cutscene about this. Why am I in burst? Oh, I'm perma in burst. That's cool. Huh. We didn't even see her transform to... How is she this all of a sudden? This is weird. It feels like it skipped something. Wow. Master Hand. Smash Bros. boss. I need Chop Suey. Okay, I need to dodge those waves or I'm dead. I'm not healing. I refuse to heal. Because I'm a gamer. Whoa! No! 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 It's so wide. <laughs> I can't die. <laughs> I can't die. That's I shouldn't have healed anyway. Fuck, I'm a loser. You can't lose the fight. I suck. This is the end. Well, I didn't really win. You have won. I'm not a gamer. I'm sad. They're both not injured, just standing there. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. Right. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. What? You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. <laughs> Are they just still besties? I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. What is going on now? Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The sword? Oh, right. Who was in the sword again? Some other- oh, her consciousness was in there, that's right. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me, to encourage me. Okay. I noticed it also, just now in the heat of battle. It seemed to unleash a new <laughs> and unfamiliar power. <laughs> this power is beyond the limits of my understanding. Noise. This blade belonged to Makoto. <laughs> the previous shogun. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power, 
when I truly understand and believe in her. Wow, that's so that's so power of friendship. I love it. When I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. Great. It was at once a familiar feeling and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life, and yet her blade brings me closer to her. That's still why I don't understand why she went to Conria. You have my approval. <laughs> That's how it works, you don't kill her? It's just like, alright, if you are worthy, whatever. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. If that's actually how it works. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. That's really cool though. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. Nice. Smart. Failsafe unlocked. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. That is cool. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Wow. Huh. You truly have changed. <laughs> I suppose this is what humans call growth. I, I like how Shogun is actually someone now. Like, it's not just a... It doesn't feel like just a puppet. I don't know, friendliness almost at this point? I understand. I shall become your shadow. <laughs> just as you were once Makoto's shadow. That is cool. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? Look, they're already messing around like friends. This is great. This is really cool. It was simply a new experience for me. <laughs> One that is worth reliving. <laughs> the big ego battles. I love it. Have you finished fighting then? Yeah. Like, for real this time? For eternity. Huh? Hmm? Oh. What's happening? It's glowing? Oh, uh, is that the will? That's the sister. Muso Ishin is glowing? Hello, A. Uh, and greetings, what? those who have come to bear witness. What are you, what? I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon who failed in my duties uh, and left you all to pick up the pieces. She's talking to us? I'm sorry, I'm lost for words. Makoto? <laughs> I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. Wow. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, <laughs> so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. Whoa! That's cool! A convoluted way to reach you, but... <laughs> well... You held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. That's amazing. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. Wow. But... She's so smart. You never mentioned this to me. Yeah, there was no point. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is just a very nice surprise instead now. I wonder if she can stay. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. Is she gonna tell us why she went to Conria? I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Yeah. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? Ah! I had some sense of it. That place... Oh, she's so tiny. ...was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know years. how long we have been separated before this reunion, and I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. It's changed for the better. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you, and I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. I'm confident many buckets of tears have been shed, not just wanted to be. Don't look down on me. <laughs> <laughs> See? You admit it. <laughs> it was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Oh? Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. So we don't get to stay with her. But it is you who must take the most important step. What is it? Cutscene time. What's the gift? Cutscene time, right? Okay, here we go. What is it? An amethyst the shard. Turned into a seed? A seed? The miracle tree that blesses the people no. in this moment new tree? to the world and yet to be known. When to plant it, where it shall bloom. She who brings it into <laughs> being must let her heart and dreams decide. 
grant it life, eh? Is this... is it really? Is it a Sakura tree <laughs> seed? I thought it was a Gnosis, but... Here? Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. I'm just smiling. <laughs> when both ah. shine in unison, the sacred Where'd sakura they come from? blooms from the darkness, finally free from sakura. the clutches of the heavenly principles. <laughs> now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Hey, that's what I said earlier. Nor can I walk this with journey with man. you. This is so pretty. Do you know, A? Eh? I am so happy right now. <laughs> because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. Whoa. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> <laughs> This time, it really is goodbye. Oh, hey. shit. <sighs> Damn. Look at this. <sighs> goodbye, Makoto. <laughs> whoa! Every time when this screen is here, I just say, whoa. And then I curse. After leaving the realm of consciousness and returning to the shrine, you relay everything to Yaimika. So the A of the present planted Whoa. the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness? Yes. And it took root in the Inazuma of the past? Right, yeah. I totally got that from that. No matter what you make of it, it's quite incredible. Yeah, for sure. All of this is thanks to Makoto's power. Her understanding of eternity is much more profound than mine. Mm-hmm. Eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. When you begin to touch on eternity, the concept of time becomes murky. Right. I saw wonderful things inside that place. Time was moving forward and backward at the same time. A place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic. Huh. So that was the turbulence I was sensing. I don't know. I don't know what you're feeling. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely to this point in time without any problems. Maybe. And yet, that sense of disorderliness has now completely disappeared. Makoto is just so much smarter than everyone in the world. I don't fully understand yet, but my intuition tells me that <sighs> really? the reason for everything, it's that seed. Who would have thought? That's crazy. Hmm, well... I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. What else would it be? I know what you mean. Perhaps Makoto got a higher power involved in all what? of this. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but whatever the explanation, her solution is what saved us all. Any lore fans that can help me here? Because I'm confused. Without the sacred Sakura, Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed up centuries ago by that disaster and the filth. Right. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura, but to me, it has always been there. Yeah, we've heard this. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there's a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness, but unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? Well, if you say so. Um, don't you think that tree looks a lot different than how it does now? The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine, so obviously I get to prune it exactly how I like it. <laughs> That's why it's the shape of a fox. Ugh, now we see who's pulling the strings. <laughs> I'm joking. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. We have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages to thank for how it appears today. Wonderful. And obviously I played my part too. Cryptic. It's fair to say that very little time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. But in that same time, centuries of battling took place on the inside, did it not? Supposedly. Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly, you were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, weren't you? Is that significant? At that time, I could sense A's whereabouts. But I also sensed anomalies in the flow of time within that space. Right. Suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Simply establishing a location was not sufficient, fortunately. 
Your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. Right. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined oh, wow. to ultimately Our friendship help again. A. So this time, it looks like thanks are due to you. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> Does that mean it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? Ah. We were always meant to be there to witness what was going to happen? An inevitable fate. Perhaps this is what the puppet meant by an inevitable. <laughs> I can't pronounce this word. Inevitability of fate. I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside. We knew that wouldn't be the so case. So it was a great shock to me when the traveler reappeared. And then it was 15 minutes. My first thought was, has a great disaster befallen Inazuma? Never. But it turned out you had come to rescue me. Of course. You came for my sake. Uh-huh. To help me reach the best possible outcome. Of course. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. I'm happy to help. Always. Hey, how are you feeling now? Control over her body. My body has fully recovered. There you go. And the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. Great. Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. But I was really asking about your emotions. Have you managed to calm down? Bro, she spoke to her sister that she hasn't seen in 500 years, of course. After all, you saw Makoto in there, didn't you? That's what I said. I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. Okay. Way to be I'll dramatic. Be fine. It brought a few things back, of course. But I've made my decision to move forward. Yeah, that was the whole point. I have to say, this has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. See? Told you. Smartest person She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold all the way back then. Yeah. <laughs> she even factored my immaturity into her plan. It's all thanks to her. That Inazuma lived to see this day. Why are we licking her boots? No one cares. She was brilliant. But Egg, you made a crucial contribution too. I just planted a seed. I agree. Your will and hers were both indispensable. It was thanks to everything you Why are did we that you got trying to, see to pat her, her on the back? She That's doesn't amazing. care about this. The final act might be a simple one, but getting there was the result of countless efforts coming together. Sure. Oh my god, more. Just because the cause and effect ended up a bit back to front doesn't mean you should undervalue the part you played. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I totally meant all of it. Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Yet the people won't notice a single difference. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. Great. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. Nice. <laughs> oh, come on. You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. <laughs> Makoto said the exact same thing! Wow, Egg. Being dumped <laughs> Great on. Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder, does that qualify me to, maybe, <laughs> take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? She is not happy. Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> we will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. I know, there's a whole Miko quest. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Good. Then, we will give careful consideration to the future. Amazing. After that, I will abolish the Sakoku Decree. I don't remember what that is, but I'm sure it's a great thing. That's huge news! I don't remember what it is. I am no longer <laughs> pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. Oh. In which case, there is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. That's what it is. That's really big. The fact you can't get in or out and like the fact there's thunder around the island and stuff. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. But out of those challenges will be born new opportunities. I'm looking forward to it. So is everyone. Whew. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Hey. Transient dreams. Completed. Let's talk to them. Dream Sakura. Oh. It's a little petal from the conscious. That's so cute. Egg. Oh. Many challenges still lie ahead for Holy Inazuma. Holy shit. <laughs> Just still lie ahead So for the Inazuma. challenges is about opening Inazuma back up to the rest of the world would maybe hurt Inazuma economically. He's like, oh, I could sell more entrances to the Narukami Shrine and make more money though, so she's happy. Centuries of dueling. As she said, it was just a lot of pain for her. She had to endure it. Sakura will be healed eventually. And she's like, oh yeah, blah, blah, I know a lot about it. And she's like, why don't you do more about it then? Lazy oh, toys. Yamiko said she was I placing her god. <laughs> Yamiko said nothing of the sort. <laughs> and the traveler has some nerve making up spurious claims about her while she is still present. 
It was funny. Some words are not to be passed on. But it's cute. Trust me. You don't want to know the cost of betraying me. I kind of do want to do it. Just think of the things I said to you as our little secret. Mm. Understood. I'm leaking it. What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Ooh, I suddenly want some <laughs> fried tofu. Nice. And this is about that Miko always wanted the best for the people. Wow, I did a lap and they're gone. Hey everybody, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story, which was slow start, but surely picked up some speed. And I thought it was going to end uh, on a very odd way, but fortunately it didn't. It was very cool, I think. And we hear more- oh my god, that bird just got snatched. We heard more about uh, Conria, which was exciting. And finally... Egg can be put to rest, it seems. I still can't really believe we got so lucky on Yai and we got her within one tenpool. I've never gotten that lucky and I'm really happy about it. And I guess next video will be our third commentary back to back. Sorry for all the content. <laughs> but we'll probably do Yai's story as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really did. I hope you're having a good day. Hope you got some laughs. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.